Newark police have begun enforcing the mayor's shelter-in-place order for the entire city. First up, residents congregating outside a convenience store right up the street from police headquarters. As the sirens blared, the crowd began to break up. What we're trying to do is we're trying to save your life. We're not trying to arrest you. We're trying to give you a warning to get off the street, go inside, protect yourself. The mayor announced the shelter in place order on Wednesday night. He says he's serious about it. So does the public safety director. On Thursday, one liquor store and its occupants learned that lesson the hard way. Usually uh, liquor stores draw a crowd to the front, some of them, not all of them. Uh, so there was a crowd, there were no social distancing in front of it. Inside there was uh, groups, so uh, anything that the officers do uh, observe like that, uh, they're going to be summoned, given summonses to, and uh, possibly shut down like we did today. The mayor did away with those three hot zones of clusters of infections and quarantines because COVID-19 cases are rising in the city. He's ordered shelter in place except for going to work and getting essentials from grocery stores, pharmacies and liquor stores and for medical emergencies. One person shot police a double bird, another wearing rubber gloves mocked but said he was following orders. They doing what they have to do. And I appreciate that. Some people can't stay at home because some people has to make a living. Some people has to work, but it's a, it's a good idea to stay home for those who do not work. We get 75% compliance, 80%. That means that's 80% less people that could, could, could contract this or spread this virus. You know, when it comes down to, you know, so, social disruption, uh, people don't like it. Can I do a thing? Yeah, go inside. Yeah. Public Safety Director Ambrose says the department has given officers protective gear, told them to take most reports by phone to reduce contact, but still respond in person to domestic violence calls. He says more than a dozen officers and firefighters have tested positive for COVID-19, and more than 200 have been quarantined. There's no interruption to public safety in the city. But there's a major insistence for testing. When you're in an airplane, they tell you, when the mask comes down, put your oxygen on first before you help somebody. Well, we should be tested because we're out here helping people. We can't help them if we can't help ourselves. So we could be carriers, we could bring them to our peers, and we can give it to, to the residents. So I think there should be something when we get enough kits that police officers, first responders, EMS, fire, and police get tested first. Public safety, trying to keep the public safe on many fronts. In Newark, Michael Hill, NJTV News.